So your pop shop is flip, right? So do mine sometimes. And you must have tried all those variations of foot placement, but it still doesn't work. And what makes you question even more is that some skaters can pop shove it, tray flip, and even pressure flip with the same foot placement. This means there will be more than the foot placement that actually caused the flip. This time, although we are going to study what exactly the foot placement does in pop shove it, but understanding the cause of the flip is leading to so many other tricks too. You're watching Why the Trick? And today we are going to study a trick scientifically. Do you have this experience of putting your back foot right in the center of the tail, and it still flips when you pop shove it? I do. And after being able to land a couple of pop shove it with my back foot placed in the pocket instead of the center of the tail, I started doubting if the foot placement really is the reason why my board flips. So. Exactly, how should we put our back foot? And in the first place, does the foot placement even have anything to do with the flipping problem? Before talking about what's right and what's wrong, let's first sort out symptoms of the flipping problem. I believe there are three types of it. Type A, the kickflip type. This is a problem that your board does a kickflip rotation and is indicated by your wheels facing towards the heel side. Type B, the heel flip type. This is just like type A, but this time your board does a heel flip rotation, and your wheels should be facing toward the toe side. And type C, the catch and flip type. This is when you can spin your board without letting it flip, but somehow you wind up flipping it after catching it. Since this type has a lot to do with the weight distribution, we will talk about this in the next video. Okay, now that we know the symptoms, let's also talk about what is causing the problems and how to avoid them. Starting from the cause of type A, the kickflip type. This is exactly the same thing we have been talking about throughout the previous episodes. When you pop, if you turn your back foot around the z-axis, which we generally call the scoop, your rear truck stores energy inside. When that energy is released, the rear truck pushes the board back up, eventually flipping it. And that is exactly how my type of tray flips work. In other words, if you're facing this type A problem, you're scooping the tail. So how do we deal with this? The scoop itself may actually cause a problem, and trying to avoid it by putting your back foot in the center makes sense. But it's just way of doing something, not a fundamental reason why you have to do it. So, before talking about how to do it, let's just double make sure what it takes to pop shove it. Simply put, to pop shove it, we have to let the tail become the last part that hits the ground, so that the rear truck can disperse its energy into the air without touching the ground. And as for the foot placement, we could just put our back foot anywhere we feel comfortable as long as we can do that. Because the only thing that matters is that the tail is the last part that hits the ground. And even by putting your back foot in the pocket, you could still achieve that objective. I know some people say against it, but logically thinking, there is no reason why you can't put your back foot in the pocket. But we also have to take into account that an unintentional scoop can happen anytime, and trying to avoid it is an added action indeed. So, it is understandable that there is a saying you have to put your back foot in the center, because by doing this, you can practically scoop or twist your back foot as hard as possible if you want to, while keeping your board flat. In that sense, if you are not sure where to put your back foot yet, try placing it in the center. It doesn't have to be that way though, I actually put my back foot in the pocket. Just one more important thing in relation to this. Some people say you have to put the ball of your back foot right in the center of the tail, but I'm afraid I have to say against this idea. I'm not really opposing this idea or anything, but I'm just doubting if there is anyone who can actually tell where the ball of the person's foot is while wearing shoes. Not unless you can see through things. Plus, even if you could, your toe pushes your board anyways, affecting the direction of your pop. 
So the point is, you don't have to be haunted by this idea. What's important instead is that the tail has to be the last part that hits the ground, and you have to find the best foot placement for you. And literally anything aside from it is just a way of execution, not a fundamental reason why you have to do something. Moving on to type V, the heel flip type. Now isn't this a mystery, that your board sometimes flips toward completely the other direction with the same foot placement? To understand this, let's imagine when you pop right, then your board should be angled and looking like this. If you send the toe side of your board forward, as into the direction you are going to, it flips. The same technique is used for no other than pressure flips. What is tricky here is that you might end up making this movement without even realizing you are, depending on the timing. In other words, if you try to pop too early, your board turns earlier than it should. This does not only make it difficult for you to pop straight down, by letting only one side of the tail becomes the last part that hits the ground and making it easier for your back foot to accidentally scoop it forward, you may wind up flipping it. And to avoid this, by the time you pop, make sure that your body is going up. Try to use your thighs first and raise up your body. And wait for the right time to pop. And placing your back foot closer to the center of the tail might help you better control your board actually. But as long as your toe is located on the toe side relative to the center of the tail, the problem would probably persist up to a certain extent by only changing the foot placement. So once again, the placement of your back foot is not a direct cause of the problem. Instead, what is fundamentally important is to find a way to pop instantly by raising up your body first and popping down the tail after that. And that is all for this episode. It seems there are a lot more interesting topics to talk about even in pop shop it's alone. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much for watching as always. Until next time.